In order to make a booklet inside of InDesign, there's a couple of things that you need to do before you even open up InDesign. First of all, you need to organize the information that you're going to use, the text as well as the picture or other elements that you're going to include inside of your InDesign booklet. And I've done this already. On my desktop, you can see there's a folder called Booklet. I open this up. Inside, I have a folder called Text, and I have a folder called Images. Inside the Text folder, I have some uh, plain text documents with different words such as the Star Spangled Banner, uh, Declaration of Independence, various documents that I'm going to put inside of InDesign. If I go up one folder, there's also a folder here called Images. And the Images basically is just a collection of all the images that I'm going to be using. Now, make sure that you keep a reference of the images and the text places that you're using. For this, I just have a text document that says picture sources. That way I know where my pictures are coming from, uh, where I got them from. And in each of the text documents, I have the website address from where I got this text. So with my information organized inside of these folders, I'm going to create a new InDesign document. To open up InDesign, you click on Start, All Programs, Adobe Design Premium CS3, and then you go down to Adobe Design InDesign CS3. Now we're going to create a booklet that is printed on both sides and it's going to be on letter size paper so our design is going to be on half letter size paper. There's a couple of things we need to do in order for this to work successfully. First of all, because it's going to be folded in half and we're going to have uh, the pages on each side of the page we have to make sure that our, our booklet is divisible by four because every page that we have will technically have four pages on it. So when you open up InDesign, this document comes up and we're going to click on Create New Document. Now it says Number of Pages. It has to be divisible by four for this to work out well. I'm going to put in 12 pages for right now. Facing pages means the pages are going to be facing each other. And because we're going to use letter size paper, uh, what we're going to design is letter half and we make sure that the orientation is up that way it uh, the pages will allow us to open and we just want the the orientation set to portrait now for this booklet we're going to cut the edges the outside edge off just a little bit I'm going to unlink my margins margins just create a pink border around the document showing you where things are going to be uh, where Basically, it's a margin area where you want to store your text. So let me just go ahead and make the outside three picas and three pixels. Um, don't worry about the measurements. We'll change these to inches in just a little bit. And I'm going to make the inside as well, three picas, three pixels, or three points actually, inside as well. So our inside and outside are 3P3. We have the orientation set to portrait, letter set to half, and facing pages and we have 12 pages in there we're gonna go ahead and click OK now we have our first page of the document the first thing I recommend doing is saving your document so go ahead and go file save save the document inside of the same folder as the booklet folder for this example it's on my desktop there's a folder called booklet and I'm gonna save this here and I'm just gonna save this as InDesign dash booklet and then I go ahead and click Save. Now I'm going to minimize InDesign and just show you what this does. When you save InDesign it creates an .indd that stands for InDesign document file as well as it creates this temporary file. This temporary file starts with a tilde and this is there if something happens and your computer crashes it's automatically saving your file. You can't open this file, you can't read this file, but what it's doing is it's saving whatever's here. So that's how you get started. Uh, in the next clip, go ahead and watch how you can um, start adding stuff to this. Let's go back to InDesign and see our document there.